basic principle. Basic, basic principle. Keep your garden close to your kitchen. <laughs> the further away it is from your kitchen, the harder it's going to be to attend, and the harder it's going to be for you to really keep, keep it going. So what we're doing is in the process of taking our little bucket garden here, because we're going to just do nothing but herbs here, and this will be the, our herb garden. We're going to take it and bring it closer to the kitchen, put it on the steps close by the door. And so, as you can see, this rosemary plant has done ooh, incredibly well this year. Oh my gosh, I mean, it's just taking over the whole bucket, right? I don't know, I think this is one plant, two plants, I can't remember exactly how many, but very incredibly well, and it's plenty for the culinary needs I need to have for the, just my little kitchen. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this thing, and we're going to put it down by the kitchen. Let's see another one that's got some, uh, here we go, oh, these are heavy, carry all that water in them, and what we're going to do here is put us some, uh, probably maybe plant some basil here, since we've got the rest of the season to grow it. And so let's take these on down by the kitchen. All right, so here we are at the kind of the back door, the front door, however you call it. And uh, we're gonna put this one here, and right there where the steps are. And okay, Whew. these things don't get too light after a while. And so there's Miss, Miss Rosemary. So we'll put rosemary, basil, oregano, thyme, and you know, all the way down here. So one step, two step, three, four, five, six. Six steps. Six buckets, six plants, six steps, six herbs. Not, not a bad deal. And that way, we just come out here and water it, and it'll be just fine. There's nothing to really uh, worry about. The rainwater has been sufficient for this rosemary little bit more shade right here but that's fine I find that a lot of herbs do well so again put one here two three four five six all the way down at the bottom there and this is a good nice little system because I can just come right out here I'm cooking in the kitchen I like, I like to eat <laughs> cooking in the kitchen hey just get me a sprig of rosemary or basil or whatever and then just go cook with it so much simpler that way if you ever want to grow a garden and you, you start with herbs and grow some herbs close to your kitchen put them close to your kitchen if you do that it, it makes it a lot easier it makes it a lot easier to come out here and get the herbs to cook with and the more and more you pick from here guess what if you see you see how this branch here is just one solid branch but if you look here I click this one here you see there's two branches so now that's two branches that are going to come up and grow so the more and more you clip and use these herbs the bushier and bushier they get that's just how they grow and I love look at that pine tree they're growing in there <laughs> always pine trees always you know not pine tree but an oak tree <laughs> everywhere but anyway that, that that's how you want to do your herbs so we're gonna go back down here get the other bucket I try to keep the camera steady, guys, but it's not all, <clears throat> how is that easy? So sorry for the fisheye lens that some of you may experience, but uh, it's just easier. So what we're going to do here, again, as you can see, there's another uh, bucket. And push it all the way up. And what we're going to do here is probably put some basil in here. It usually takes basil about 21 days to grow, I mean to sprout. So I'll probably put a bunch of seeds in here, whichever one sprout will thin them out. Let the strongest two stay in here, and then we'll go from there. And so we'll put all six buckets here. And that's basically how that'll work. So let me go and get the rest of these buckets, and I'll show you what it all looks like uh, once we're done. All right? Be right back. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the, you see right there, it's not so bad. You got a nice little herb garden.
right there. It's right by your kitchen. And I find that I use herbs more than I do anything else. Because herbs are expensive in the store, but easy to grow. They're shrubs. So if you want a vegetable garden, consider just getting some five gallon buckets like this and get you some topsoil mix or something. Put them together, use my organic fertilizer recipe, and then plant you some herbs in it, or buy the plants and transplant them. Either way, very, very simple. And if you want more information on that, check out greenhorngardening.com forward slash claim for that for the download on exactly how I make and use these organic uh, fertilizers. It's pretty good soil, pretty warm still. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later, alright? See ya.